do like a nice little style um i don't have anywhere to go but i want to go take pictures so i decided you know let me like think up of a style and film it yeah this intro is about to be very short i know you guys have seen the thumbnail so if you'd like to see how i got my hair like that please keep on watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're new all right let's get to the video all right y'all we're back again with another voiceover can you guys believe it <laughs> all right we're gonna be parting our hair first of all in four Right here, I'm showing you guys how I usually part my hair. I start off with a comb and then I kind of put my hands in between the strands so that it's easier on my hair. There's less pulling, tugging, and all that jazz. We're going to make sure that one side is two parts and the other side is another two parts. All right, right here is where I parted one side diagonally in the front. Um, because we're going to be working diagonally i'm going to just part out the i call it black people wispies but the sides that i usually like to do and then just clip that away now don't worry about that um the left or right side i can't remember um, i'm going to redo that later but again we're going to be parting our hair diagonally first i want to start off by parting out a part that i'm going to be braiding so this one's not going to be in any rubber bands or anything like that we're going to be braiding this part don't worry guys I know my hair is dirty you know natural hair once you you know and then I'm gonna secure it right here you know once you do your hair finally like the, the final look is not dirty at all so right here I'm gonna part my hair with my hands first and then with the comb because again less tension and less of my strands are being ripped off again just make sure that everything's nice and straight Then I'm just going to be tucking it away. Pay attention because tucking your hair away eliminates any hair being tangled. So I'm going to be parting that part into two, again using my hands, and then, as you guessed it, using the rat tail comb. I've already gone ahead and done one of the sections. I'm going to be using some water just to make sure that everything's nice and moist and it's easier for the hair to gather up. Then I'm going to be adding some gel all around the rim of this section making sure everything's smooth and then I'm going to be using a brush to kind of brush just the front not too much then I'm going to be taking a rubber band and making sure that there are no loose ends or no flyaways and just wrapping my hair around this rubber band don't wrap your hair too 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 much because you don't want the rubber band to cut your hair just do enough so that it's not too too loose and it's not too too tight now I'm just going to be twisting it away right here I'm gonna kind of tighten the twist because it looks a lot better in my opinion coming up <laughs> and then securing it away with the other section don't worry about my nails either you guys corona yeah not trying to go out uh, yeah now I'm gonna be taking this side again I'm gonna be working diagonally I'm going to use my finger to part my hair initially as usual and then use the rat tail comb to kind of clean up the part. I love doing these styles on hair that's dirty because again I can do whatever I want and not feel bad about any gel going into my hair. This section we're going to be parting it into two and then I've already gone ahead and sectioned, secured everything and put another braid apart. And then I'm just going to be securing away the black people flyaways. Right here I'm going to be doing my last rubber band secure section. Adding water. And then some gel. You know I love my eco and gel. And making sure everything goes around every bit of the parameter. Then I'm going to be adding the rubber band. Again, not doing it too tight to cut my hair and not too slack so that it's not um, neat. Then 
again, I'm going to be twisting it all the way. Now I'm going to be braiding those individual braids that I'm going to be doing. Again, I'm putting on some gel around the rim so that it is smooth and easier for me to braid and that it looks neater. Guys, trust me, this took me not too long, but yeah, it was a struggle, a bit of a struggle because I haven't braided my hair in a long time. And thank God I cut my nails off because ooh, braiding your nails is not Gucci. And then this is the last braid that I'm going to be braiding that's in diagonal. Yeah guys, I was tired. <laughs> Listen, this is not for the faint at heart. Now I'm going to be braiding the wispies or black pink wispies. I'm going to contort my hand and just try to braid, you know, in the opposite direction. My camera died so I didn't catch like all the way to the end but then I went ahead and did the other side making sure everything's done. As you can see here, on the other side I did secure one section of my hair and I braided the other wispy. Now I'm just going to secure the two sides with something I like to call a bubble back home, but I think it's bubbles, um, the Americans like to call it. But yeah, before I do that, I put some eco sound gel on the back so that I gather up all my kitchen. I just learned that phrase recently. <laughs> Guys, listen, we call it like what? The crops? Gather up the crops in the back. <laughs> and then just use the brush to kind of smooth in the back, not too much, so I don't, you know, rip out my ends. Then again, yes, as you can see, the bubbles is being used or bubbles. I love to use a bubbles or bubbles because there's no rubber band to kind of snag my hair or any scrunchie to snag my hair. The bubble just secure it nice and clean. I don't have to worry about it. Now I'm going to just section off this section and twist it away with the two stranded twists. It doesn't have to be like great. The smaller the better because it makes your buns smaller. I am only now learning this. Well, we're done. Everything's set. I know my hair is not, um, the two parts are not even. You guys only realized this like while I was taking pictures, but I think it, I think they came out very nicely. So I'm going to be securing these two buns with rubber bands. And then now I'm going to be using the Arcani edge control love it your hair your edges are not moving and again it's not like concrete it's just amazing i love this i do have a video on my channel showing you guys me reviewing this product i love everything about it now i'm gonna just use my fingers to kind of smoothen it out guys when you use your fingers with this it just adds that extra touch to it now i'm going to be adding the piece that is the stance the fake Puffs, the faux puffs. I love these puffs. I got these off of Wish and I said I was gonna demo them but yeah that was a long time ago but now I'm gonna demo it. They feel lovely. They don't smell. It's just amazing. Now I'm just gonna be attaching this to my bun. Guys, it was really a struggle for me to do it because my hair is really thick and if your hair is short it'll be a lot easier for you. Here I'm just gonna be pulling it to secure it in place. Don't worry guys, it'll look a lot better. This is me just trying to figure out if it's gonna be, like how, how am I gonna secure it? Now I'm just gonna wrap the remaining string around my hair, just to make sure again, it's double secured and just to get it out of the way. I did the other section now I'm gonna be taking some bobby pins to kind of secure it to kind of shape it making sure that it's separated because you don't want that one little puff action um, yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and just make sure everything is secured everything separated everything shaped correctly and now I'm gonna be taking these nice lovely sunflowers that I got off of Amazon they're sunflower pins you see how long the pin is it's great for these types of Hairdos and it's great for 
afros as well. There's no rhyme or reason how I put these pins in. I just make sure that it's kind of even. All right, y'all, so this is the final look. Oh my God, I am literally shook. Like, I didn't expect it to come out this way. I never expect anything to, because again, this is like my first time doing any sort of like hairstyle, hairstyle on my hair like this. Like, it's late. <laughs> What I did was put like all the sunflowers all around my hair. Don't worry guys, I'll put all the links down in the description down below for everything that I used. But yeah, I did like these, everything came from Amazon. I got this from my local beauty supply store. It came out really well, like guys, what more can I say? It looks so good. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to smash that notification bell so that you do not miss another upload. Also, don't forget to follow me on all my social media accounts. It's over it at Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. All right, I'll see you guys in the next part. Enjoy the bloopers. Hey YouTube, it's your girl over it, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Hello again. <laughs> So if you want to see the style that I came up with, granted, the thumbnail will show it. Please keep on watching. Okay. So based on the thumbnail, I'm assuming that you guys have looked at, and based off of... Uh, I do think this will be a voiceover though. Yeah. Voiceover. <laughs> Don't worry guys, I'll put all the links to where I got most of... Oh God, Jesus Christ. Don't worry guys, I'll put all the links to most... Yo, wait. Wait, what'd you call it? Almost fell again.